Okay, so um, the web page looks uh, prettier now because I have uh, added in a style sheet uh, and I have added in a navigation bar, which I borrowed from W3 School, so I get the pretty web page. But functionally, I'm at the same point as I was at the end of the last lesson. That is, I can uh, use a HTML form to submit data to the server and the PHP on the server checks if the username and password are correct and gives me a message if that's correct or not. So if I type in a James and dead dog, you're in here, your password matches too. Okay, now that's all very well, but we want to, um, we want to start using sessions. So, oops, I am going to, uh, at this point, if I've got the matching password and uh, username, I'm going to add in a session variable. I'm going to uh, call it example, and I'm going to give it a value of uh, um, Mr. Basu. So we've got a session variable called example, and if uh, if you uh, get to this point, then that session variable will be given the value of Mr. Basu. Uh, over here, out of the out of the loop, now we're going to uh, echo the. Uh, we're going to spit out the session variable. Um, called example. Okay, so it's hopefully this is going to work. Um, because I've done this a couple of times, uh, practice I might remember. Okay, so you're not in here. So I'm going to type in James. I'm going to type in uh, dead dog. Uh, you're in here. Your password matches to Mr. Basu. So the the variable, the session variable is now printed. Now if I if I go back to this page. Mr. Bassett is still there. That session variable exists. I can go to a different web page and I can come back and that session variable is still there. The browser is, rem is remembering a cookie which has got this um, secret code this, uh, which passes to the server and says, hey, yeah, I know you, you're, you're, you're legit. You can, you can, your, your um, example session variable is called Mr. Bassett. Okay? So we're going to um, make a um, new page. We're going to make a new page. Here we go. It's a, it's, it's a HTML page. With, well, it's a PHP page, I should say. And I'm going to put some PHP in here. It's, uh, it's following my template. I've got the session start. Very importantly, I've got my oops. I've got my session start at the beginning to say, hey, is there a session for this on, in this browser? Let's, I'd like to connect to it. Uh, I've got my style sheet for Basu style, but at the moment uh, I've got nothing in here. Um, I know in in here I'm going to um, I'm going to a href equals uh, login dot php back. So I've got a a link back to uh, the page here. So if I I preview the check page. Page, I okay, get back. So I click on back, and I get to the login page. And in the login page, uh, I am going to um, put in a uh, outside the PHP. So save me doing echoing. I'm going to uh, put in a hyperlink to uh, the check page. Check. And let's check if that works. Refresh. I didn't save it, did I? I have got to save it. And refresh it. And I've got a check page. So I'm going to check back. OK, so that's working at the moment. Let's uh, put in a session variable in here. So in here, I am going to uh, 
echo underscore session square brackets example so hopefully mr bass is going to pop up let's just check that okay so um save check back there's no session so let's log in james and dead dog you're in there's a person check mr basu back i can go backwards and forwards from here and the session variable is stateful it stays there doesn't matter where, there's no variable, no form variables, so just remembered through the, uh, the browser's got a cookie with the session uh, code, which you, you know, which you can't guess, and the server knows that these variables are associated with this browser. If I closed the window and came back to this window, it would remember it. I'd have to close the browser, I'd have to quit Chrome or Internet Explorer or whatever to, um, to get rid of that session variable or create a destroy function. Anyway, I'll come back to that. All right, so uh, we now have a, we can now have the session variable. Um, we can see we've got that. Let's let's put a condition in here. If, uh, if the session variable example is equal to uh, Mr. Basu, uh, then, um, then echo, uh, a. Um, all right, so um, if it's Mr. Basu, say hey. So let's try that again. Check. Oh, saving. Save it. Uh, back. If I go here, check. Hey, Mr. And it's there. Okay. Uh, let's put in a condition. Else. Um, header location, oh, capital location, location. This is going to redirect it to the login page. Um, and this isn't going to work because I've created a session, I haven't destroyed the session. So what I'm going to do, I am going to, after saying hey, I am going to use the session destroy um, Function to kill the uh, kill the session. Uh, okay, so save that uh, back. Okay, so check. Hey, go back. Check the session has now been destroyed, and I can't I can't reach the page because when it hits that page and it says, "Have you got a session called Example with Mr. Basu in it?" No, I you destroyed it a moment ago. Right, you're not coming in, you're going back to login. So quickly you can't see that it happens. Let's try that again. So I'm going to log in and um, dead dog, submit, you're in, check, hey, back, check, check's not working. So we have our password system. We are protecting pages by creating a um, comparison, are you using a conditional statement? Does the session variable become, is, does it match this? Does the session variable match this? Okay.